Alright. Oh damn, I missed it. Nah, I know you in the house, lady. I give it up for Ariana Basis too. She was kind of dropping it like it was lukewarm, or at least dropping it like dropping it like it was hot, hot, hot. I'm Dr. Corey A. Bear. I want to thank you guys for coming out, and I'm going to give you a little health information. We're going to talk about a few things that kind of go down in the neighborhood, and I think we need to know. And when we start talking about these things, it's going to be something that you might think you know, but you don't. Oh, right, so, we're talking about, and what's your name again? Brenda White. Oh, what a beautiful lady. Now, I got a question for you. Can I ask you a question? We're going to, you're going to be the first person we're going to talk about. So, if you got a burn at your house, something spilled on you, everybody's going to get so upset. What's the one thing that you cannot do when you get a burn? Do you know? Don't put exactly. Don't put butter on don't it. Don't put butter on it. Oh, don't put butter on what? On a burn. Oh, yeah. See, people love to put butter on burns. 80% of America think that you're supposed to put butter on a burn. But that's a big health myth. And the reason why is because when you burn your skin, the skin is still hot. So if you put butter on it, it insulates the burn, so it makes it burn more and makes scars. So right now, about 50% of us have a scar on our body because somebody's grandmother put butter on it. Look at it later right there. Can I get a witness right there in the white shirt? Can I get a witness? So in that case, what are we supposed to do for a burn? You're supposed to cool the burn off with cool water. Exactly. And keep it as cool as possible for the next three days. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Three days? Well, the reason why it's three days is because the, bu- the burn is still burning during doing damage for 72 hours. So if you get a burn and you put cool water on it, not ice, cool oh. water, as much as you can stand for that next three days, then you probably won't even have a scar. Oh, I thought you were saying, I meant say, I thought it was ice at first. No, 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 not ice, cool water. Oh, cool water. Okay. I got to remember that. That's right. So what, what's another one? What's another help there? And this is something that's in our community for real. If you have a little baby and you don't want the baby to strain when they're having a bowel movement, what do you do? You put a little red string around the wrist and then the baby won't have strain. And now, can I get a witness on that? Now, people might not say, that you heard that? You heard, see, look at it, see, this happened. I'm a pediatrician. I get kids all the time, newborn babies, come into the clinic, and they have a little black string or a little red string around their ankle or their wrist. Please don't do that. The baby can strangulate he, him or herself with that. Now, what about this? If you drink too much cold drink, you're going to get liver splashes. Oh. Uh-huh. Now, oh. That, that's a good one, right? People think that. Now, first of all, I am from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm not from New Orleans, but I've been here for 20 years, so I feel like I'm part. But the point is, You're part of everything, world. whether it's cold or not cold, if it's a soda, it's called a cold drink down here. Can I get a witness on that? So it's all yeah, cold right, drink. Sure. And that means soda. So there's two myths there. We're going to do a double. There's no such thing as liver splashes. You know? That does not even exist. That, that's like, I don't know where that came from. There's no such thing. If you have light patches on your face, it's not from the acid and the soda. It's from something called eczema or contact derm- I mean, um, atopic dermatitis. And so you have to make sure that you're not using these uh, harsh chemicals on your face. You're not using uh, drying uh, soaps like Irish Spring and Dial. You've got to use Dove soap, and you have to lubricate your skin with Lubriderm lotion, a lotion with no perfume or dye. You can use Curel. You can use Cherry. You can use... Eucerin, but all those oh, are kind of expensive. Lubriderm is not. So you will get rid of liver splashes by doing that. And that's really important. If it's not working, then you need to go to your doctor and you can get some ointment, medicated ointment, we can get rid of it. Okay. But it's not because of the soda you drink. What about this? If you, if you eat too much fried food and oily food and you drink uh, and you eat chocolate, you get pimples. All right. Is that true? Can I get it with it? Is that true? I don't know. That is not true. Oh! Pimples do not come from eating fatty food. 
Pimples do not come from eating chocolate. Is it acne? It's not true. Acne? Acne. That is not, acne does not come from that. It, look, 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 she's like, my grandma, oh my God. The, the, she gonna give me, but I'm, look, I'm gonna take care of this business, right? So it's important that you do not think that. If you have acne, you have to make sure you clean your face with the antibacterial cleanser and astringent and a toner twice a day. It has nothing to do with the chocolate intake or the fried fatty food. All right. Now, that's going to kill you in other ways, but it's not going to take away your, your acne if you stop. Uh, what about this one? This is a good one. What about if you, you, if you have a wart, if you put duct tape on it? Does that work? That's a bad idea, huh? That works. It does? That works. Uh-huh. See, I threw a little, I threw a little monkey wrench on you, huh? Excuse uh, me. Uh, see, look, here. Hey, like, oh, that's that's my little knee. I'm telling you, that does work. That does work. Say thank it's you. It's very important that you remember, Say thank you. you know, if you have a warrant, then you probably can use something from the phone. All right. But if you don't have that, you Sorry can use the... The duct tape and, and change the duct tape once a day, once a day, and the wart will go. I thought it was a bad idea. On a corn. Now, is that on a hammer time corn down on the, uh, that one of hammer time? All right. So corn, it sometimes can work because why does it work? It's very, it has a very adhesive tendency. So whenever you put on something that's very strong with adhesive, every time you take it off, it takes off the top layer of the skin. And that's why if you do that over and over and over, it's going to take away the top layer of the skin. And that's going to decrease the amount of the war. Now, I write all these things down. Let me see. What's one of them? Oh, man. Oh, brown rice is better than white rice. Really? All right. Now, what y'all think? Rice, yes or no? Yes. I've never ate brown rice. Okay. Yes. Brown rice is better than white rice. However, I have one thing to tell you. Both of them are not good. Really? All right. Now, I let's talk that. about not good. We always need carbohydrates, right? So carbohydrates are right. But did you know that a bowl of white rice is equal to three bowls of ice cream? I didn't know that. Oh, I just took you out today. Oh, Lord. What are we, is it Sunday? Are we, are we having gospel? A bowl of white rice equal to three bowls of ice cream. And you would never eat three bowls of ice cream for dinner, but you eat a bowl of rice from the Chinese spot right on the corner every day. So if you're trying to lose weight, that ain't going to work. I okay, know that. so brown rice is better. Why? Because when you look at the amount of sugar in something, you've got to take away the dietary fiber. So all those little, those little um, labels you see on the food, they're there for a reason, and you're supposed to use them. So when you look at the total carbohydrates on the label, when you see the dietary fiber, you subtract that from the total carbohydrate, and then that's how much total car carbohydrate you have. So a brown rice has more fiber, so therefore it has less sugar, but it still has a lot of sugar. So if you're using trying to lose weight, you need to make sure that you decrease your rice, decrease your all of your white food. So that's bread. That's the devil. What? Rice. That's the devil. I didn't know that. Uh, potatoes, they are the devil. I don't eat potatoes. And one more thing. Pasta, the devil. Oh. Now, brown pasta is better than white pasta, but it's still bad. But I love spaghetti. I, I know you do. And in New Orleans, we talk about meatballs and spaghetti, but other places, spaghetti and meatballs, and I don't know why. <laughs> Same thing. But it's important that you remember those things. Because when you're trying to lose weight, you're eating too much sugar. You got oh. the American Diabetes Association right now telling you, you don't want to have to get stuck with the, uh, to get your glucose every day, taking uh, insulin every day. You've got to decrease that amount of sugar. Now, when we look at uh, the fat yeah, content, say, well, fat is not good either. But what's better for you, low fat or light foods or no fat? If it's low fat, no fat, or regular fat, which one is better? I don't know. That's a hard one, right? Sure so the problem is... Low fat is good, good, don't get me wrong. But the problem with that is that when you make something low fat, they usually add a lot of sugar to make it taste good. So if you're trying to lose sure. weight and you go low fat, you're going high Truth sugar, gamma, which means you're going to have another Truth problem. Gamma, try to, to right? add sugar so to, to I diet ice cream. That we don't necessarily just go low fat. I want you just to watch what, what you fool. eat every day. You've Talking got to five 
serving the fresh fruits and vegetables every day. And if you do that, that will lower your your cancer risk. Now, this is serious. Oh. Five servings of fresh fruit and vegetables a day will lower your cancer risk by at least 35%. Think about that. Okay. So you know how I get it? I take some I take a, uh, some grapes. I take some avocados. I take some spinach. I take some uh, strawberries. And I take some bananas. Oh, I, I love strawberries. I love strawberry. And I just blend it up in the morning and I drink it. And that's five servings right there. Done. All right. I'm going to be around a long time getting on your nerves. Oh, getting no, you're face. not getting on my nerves. And see, remember we talked about the things out with the devil? We said those, that banana, I mean, the, uh, the pasta, the rice, the potatoes, and the bread. That's devil. But I got another one that's killing you. The, I call it the devil's urine. Oh, what's that? That's so Oh, Ooh, so next time you about to pick up that soda, I want you to think of what the devil just did to produce that soda in that glass, all brown and bubbly and nasty. You ain't going to drink it now. If you try to lose weight and you drink two sodas a day, if you try to lose weight, you will lose eight pounds in one month if you stop drinking soda. Oh. Eight pounds. Hell, if you, if, if you lose eight pounds in one month, in three months, that's 24 pounds. It's worth it, right? And people always tell me, they're like, well, Doc, I need to lose this weight in, in, in 30 days. I got to get in this dress. I was like, it took you 40 years to get fat. Well, Tanya did. You can't take 30 days to not be. Tanya was already skinny. <laughs> because this is the issue. It's is a marathon. It's not a sprint. I wish, I'm telling you, I wish that we could go back to those high school days and think about all the things that we could have done. But the problem is all of us plan on being here for the next 10 years, right? Yep. So if you decide you want to lose some weight and you decide that you want to lose one pound a month, one pound, that's 12 pounds in a year, 36 pounds in three years. You plan on being here for three years. If you didn't, you wouldn't have insurance. Oh. You got insurance, don't you? So you plan on being here. You, you, I mean, you plan on doing the things that you want to do. So you've got to make sure that you do this and it's in an orderly fashion and you can do it. You can't let people tell you can. And your family is going to be your worst nightmare. Oh. Because they're going to try to bring you down. As soon as you say that you're going to try to come do back, it, come back. they're going to continue to say, well, no, you're not going to do that. You can't do it. You can do anything. I'm going to give you a couple more of these myths. Um, oh, this is a good one. You need to drink eight glasses of water every day. Oh, I, yes I, I or no? Do you need to drink eight glasses of water? Today? Well, I don't. No, you do not. What? See, that's what I'm telling you. Well, that's what I'm here. You need to have about 64 ounces of liquid or fluid in a day. But what people don't realize is that spinach is 98% water. Broccoli is 98% water. I don't like so water. all these things add up to your total 64 ounces. So should you drink it? There's nothing wrong with drinking eight, eight ounces of glasses of eight ounce glasses of water a day. But the point is that if you eat a lot of vegetables, you don't need that much because you know just like everything else, if you drink too much water, that's bad for you too. If you have high blood pressure and you drink, you know, twelve glasses of water a day, your blood pressure is gonna be high. You have a stroke. So you always gotta know the information. It's the information. What my else mom, my mom wanna, need to learn that. Oh, it, oh, does milk do a body good? I, I don't think oh, so. Oh, that's, that's from milk. That's one that we've been on a long time. Is milk good for you? No. Milk is a vile substance. It's a horrible, horrible substance. Check you know out the videos on YouTube. Bad? And it's not just me saying this. You go online. You go to University of Miami. You can go to Harvard University. You can go to Yale. You can go to Princeton, Morehouse College. Maybe we all have done the research. If milk is so good, why don't cows drink it? <laughs> Think about that. You've never seen an adult cow drink milk. 